All right, we're here for, you ready? Mm -hmm. uh, for a site walk with Pat Stevens, uh, Acorn Storage Facility on Milton Mills Road. And I'll turn it over to Mr. Stanley here. Thank you, sir. So um, what we're proposing here is, an, is, the, is an entrance coming in right about where you can see those, those stumps. That's where the DOT approved entrance mm -hmm. permit was back when we did the subdivision here. <clears throat> and we're proposing a 16 foot wide entrance that, that comes in and then once it gets through the 50 foot buffer along the road, it, it bears to the right. And then the four wood stakes that you see over here are the proposed 30 by 80 storage building. Um, that Mr. Stevens is proposing. Um, what that would look like is, you know, the 16-foot driveway would come in, and then there would be, right now we're proposing a 20-foot gravel traveled way around that building, <coughs> and then coming back out. Um, <clears throat> that's pretty much it. There would be no power or water run to the building. This is all, um, you know, just proposed to be dry storage mm -hmm. basically, a couple of solar lights for security and safety purposes on each end of the building. Um, so otherwise we just have that entrance and then the rest of the opening that you see that's cleared now is the proposed area to be <clears throat> loam seeded grass for any outdoor storage, trailers, boats, things like that. I think that's about it. Uh, it's fairly straightforward, other than he does propose a small sign out beside the entrance on the road as well. Hi. No. Good afternoon. In the Good afternoon. 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 The version of the plan that we're bringing in tonight, we're proposing 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. as just the set hours, seven days a week. Okay. I'm certainly open to discuss that, but at least that works for our client. If you guys want to see any adjustments, we can discuss that. Okay. <clears throat> so, Gavin, just quickly, I know you yeah. missed the very beginning of it. So, the, the, the DOT approved entrance is right behind those stumps. Yeah. What we're proposing is coming into about that stump pile through the 50 foot buffer along the road and then banging a right, you know, 16 foot wide entrance, and then a 20 foot traveled way kind of around these four wooden stakes at 30 by 80 building. Just proposing that be a little gravel loop around the building. And then everything else in this area that's already cleared would be what we propose to loam and seed for that outdoor storage area that we had discussed at the last meeting. <coughs> and then our proposal is, you know, this, this land is extremely flat here. We're, we're proposing, mm -hmm. and you'll see on the plans, we're proposing um, that Mr. Stevens grade everything slightly to, to lead into a ditch that would kind of run around the perimeter of this and then we would have a drainage structure right here that all of that led into um, proposing what we call a level spreader which is basically almost like a shallow pond for it to go into and go infiltrate into the ground and then in this instance, you know, the size we're proposing should be more than adequate, but we do have the benefit of this big borrow pit that's right beside the road there where they borrowed a lot of dirt for the road construction over the years. So we'll probably put some sort of overflow on the back end of the level spreader. Just, you know, if we did have a 200 year event and it, and it uh, filled up, we would have that giant existing hole there for any overflow to get trapped in and soak into the ground. And I mean, that hole, if you look at it, it's far bigger even than the building we're proposing. Mm -hmm. It's hidden by the vegetation there, but it's pretty substantial uh, hole over there too. But we don't really anticipate the water ever making it that far anyways, but at least it's there if we need it. <coughs> um, that's really the gist of it. Um, like I said, I might have said it before you got here, he's not proposing any water, any power, just dry storage with uh, two solar powered like security motion lights on the building so if anybody you know did approach the building we'd know or if, if they uh, or it would it could be seen and also it would help them get into their particular storage unit um, I think that's about it yeah the the extent of the cleared area that he's proposing at this time is what you see here already um, Trucks. I don't know if this rent would be a problem down around the stage. The drainage would 
drain structure right there. And that road access will get all revegetated. Yep. Yeah, we did change the terminology yeah, so on the plan after we talked um, to you know, loam seed and stabilize. And this is the terminology that we would put on there instead of just letting it naturally grow back. And right. Like, questions for myself and Pat. Yes, Gavin, you have anything? Or? No, I mean, if there's anything we'll talk about at the meeting, I think we've seen everything we need here. I mean, so it's pretty yeah. straightforward. Yeah. Yeah. I guess that's it then. So, okay. Well, appreciate it. All right. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Okay.